All right, let's talk about mistakes. We all make them. We're often told to learn from them, yet many choose not to share some of their biggest mistakes and mess ups out of fear of fear or embarrassment or judgment. Well, experts say hiding your mistakes is in fact Let's say it together, a mistake, especially when it comes to being a leader. Joining me to dive into this one, our Emmy award-winning makeup artist, owner of the Green Room Agency, Miss Nisa Green, co-founder of Ed to Biz, Michelle DeShields, Yay. and making her Real Talk debut, please welcome speaking coach, Odette Peek. Yay. Odette! I am so excited to have you ladies. Yes, and real you. quick, Odette, introduce yourself. So I was looking at uh, all the things you're doing online, uh, really helping influence people, women, uh, be their best selves. That's right. So being Canadian, I am a speaker and story coach, and I help uh, women get up on stage, share their story, but most importantly, be able to turn it into a talk that really motivates an audience into action. Yes. yes. I love, I love, I love that. that. Awesome. Well, yeah. All right, let's dive into this. I'm dying to hear what you guys think. So this career consultant, Selena Razvani, recently posted an article detailing the first time that she witnessed a woman in a leadership role share a past mistake. She said it was a game-changing and and rare gift um, and it actually this actually struck me because my question to you is did you do you find that you hear women sharing mistakes like that this was such an odd thing because I feel like in this day and age um, that that women are being their authentic selves so this wouldn't be a rare thing for me uh, what do you think well I think maybe in the past women felt like they were judged more harshly I mean that's the reality mm -hmm. women are judged mm -hmm. more harshly mm -hmm. than men so they kind of held their mistakes to themselves got they had to kind of appear appear perfect you right. know so you didn't share as much but in today's um, era and yeah, climate yes, yes women are sharing more and realizing that it's helpful not only to them but to others as well yeah. right oh dad mm -hmm. um, you know you're around women you're you're again uh, um, listening coaching uh, is anybody holding back from you or, or are you seeing their their truth not as much anymore I go to a lot of conferences we get a lot of conferences and there's a lot of you know amazing keynote speakers yeah. great profi profiles and they are sharing the root of what is their mistakes are and it's mm -hmm. really humbling to listen to them because yeah. you go wow they can do it, so can I. That's right. right. Anita, That's right. What do you think? I think in real settings, women are owning their truth and being their best selves. But again, I think if you stay on social media, you will get tricked into thinking that everything is perfect. <laughs> That's right. Yes. And that no one's making mistakes out here. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, but, but I think in real life, yeah, we're all trying to live our best life. Mm -hmm. Well, but it's funny. I do follow those people who I, I, I love their pictures. I love the life that they portray. I get maybe design ideas from them, fashion ideas from them. But at the end of the day, I also find myself desperately seeking the moms, the yes, people that's like right. me, exactly. that's right. who are not doing things well, and they don't have makeup on, and they're holding the baby <laughs> like right. this, <laughs> right. and they're stirring. Up the, the pasta, yeah, and, you exactly. know, yes. and to me, I'm like, oh, praise God. Yes, yes, because they, we, we they're like, like me. Yeah, <laughs> they're like me. Right. We like yes. the real, right. and that's what yeah. we need to realize too. And other women that we learn when we can relate. So when we see somebody that we can relate to, we learn from yes. that. Yeah. And so we need to give more of our mistakes, let people know about that. Yeah, I mean, I think for me this wasn't such a surprise because I feel like I personally am sort of an open book. <laughs> but almost to a fault, like you'll be like, well, the other day I was this. But, you know, I really share that because, but I also get that feedback from my female friends people and viewers that we say, yes. I love the fact that you oh, talked yeah. about how hard it was after Jim's mom passed yes. this mm -hmm. last year. Like, and so I think that, that people respond and to us being authentic. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so um, do you feel like in a work setting, people are still holding back to some extent? Or have you ever made a career affecting mistake because you shared something? Mm. I think in the work setting, going back to what Michelle said, women are, we are still judged differently and more harshly than men. Mm -hmm. So I think in a work setting, even if we do it subconsciously, we're always going to hold back. Mm -hmm. We're not going to put our mistakes out as willingly and openly as men can mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. get away with it and move on from the mistake. Mm -hmm. right. So I don't think in the workplace we've gotten there yet. Right. I mean. Yeah. What do you think, Odette? Yeah, no, absolutely not. So I, uh, what I do is I teach people how to share their story and mm -hmm. I'm, um, Coming from experience, for the first four years in my business as a coach, I wouldn't share my story. I didn't share any part of my vulnerability, my mistakes. It was always about, I'm really awesome, I'm great, because I was afraid mm -hmm. that people would judge me, mm -hmm. and there was shame and guilt around my mistakes. Sure. Yeah. But the moment I started sharing, everything changed for right. me. Yes. Everything. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I yeah. find that in even in the friends that I that I choose that if yeah. they never and granted I don't want it to be a complaint fest or oh my right. husband did this yeah. or my kids did this but if I feel like I really just kind of can't mm -hmm. crack through that mm -hmm. facade right. and that veneer then I'm like we may never be able to be close because I I want to mm -hmm. really know the real you, you yes. real and wow is the real you perfect well good for you but <laughs> I am not. so you're probably not going to want to be my friend because I'm not perfect. Right. Yeah. Right. Too funny. That's yeah. true. I think one one word did you just use vulnerability. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It's such such an honest place to be when you can show that vulnerability, but yeah. again, yeah. we don't have that freedom yet. I, you don't yeah. always feel it, but if you're trying to live your best life, vulnerability I think is mm -hmm. the opposite of what you were saying, mm -hmm. guilt and shame right. and being afraid to share your story. So if you're living in one of those places, you can't live in the other. Right. So the vulnerability showing is a key. Well, and, that, right. Go ahead. And, and I was just going to say we have to realize that mistakes mm -hmm. are our best teachers. Right. They are our best teachers. So the more that we give, the more that we share, then the better we become. That's what I was mm -hmm. just about to say that the, the author says in this article is that when we don't talk about them, we're more likely to repeat them. True. So if we keep them tucked away, you know, that gives them power. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why not just share it in a way that's going to help someone and then they'll think, oh my goodness, well, you got through that. Now I know that I can actually, you know, uh, move on to this next chapter of my mm -hmm. life, whatever that may be. Maybe you're going through personal mm -hmm. divorce or, or maybe mm -hmm. it's something work related, but when you know that somebody has overcome it, it's just going to empower you to, to feel That's like right. you can That's as well. Exactly. That's true. You know, um, her advice is this: next time you make the misstep, instead of lugging it around, put it on display. Now, I don't know about that. <laughs> easier <laughs> said than done. Eas uh, much easier said than done. Let's yeah. talk about that. When you finally yeah. started telling your story, was it just? Then, like, no holes bar. Well, um, so I was putting on a webinar, online training, and I had to, uh, my story coach was coaching me for two and a half hours to help me get comfortable with my story. Mm -hmm. And it was like, can I do it? Can I do it? It's like jumping, um, you know, into uh, a, a deep end. Mm -hmm. And, but once I did, everything just started to cascade. And what really happened for me was I was keeping in the story, which was, was toxic for my body. Mm -hmm. And I was feeling, you know, I was sick. Yeah. And when I started to release it, it was like, wow, wow, I just felt lighter and lighter and mm -hmm. lighter. Right. And most importantly, not only was it affecting my health and well-being, it was people were coming up to me and going, wow, I never knew that about you. Mm -hmm. And I was more approachable, more likable, more lovable in a way because I was, I had this wall up. Right. You weren't gonna mm -hmm. hear my story. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, is there, was there something, a mistake that you now look back and you think, um, <clears throat> You know, maybe maybe you didn't disclose it, and you should have, or you didn't. You know, anything that you feel like has impacted your life now because of maybe not revealing it or mm -hmm. revealing. Yeah, it. I mean, I think we all probably have that. There are times when we feel like it's better to keep it a little private, mm -hmm. you know, and, and mm -hmm. you know, maybe let's just keep this yeah. one in the dark. Right, we don't want to share all of our mistakes. Right. <laughs> but there are times that I wish I had have shared, you know, and I know it could have helped others. So I'm yeah. learning from that now today, and I think more women are like with yes. the books of even like with mm -hmm. Michelle Obama's book. Because Coming. Yes. That new book, the yeah. book Lean In. Yes. That, um, right. you know, where, where they are yeah. showing us to please get out there, tell your story because it helps. Right. I, I was going to ask, and Nisa, you wait, weigh in next. Um, I, there's something about sharing, 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 but then sometimes I feel like, am I acting like I'm too much of a victim? Mm -hmm in the sharing of it because think about if I'm oh and then this happened to me and that like in a way I understand why I want people want to sweep things you know right. keep things in the past so how do we go from from resonating with the audience getting our message through but not also telling this story so many times that you feel like oh I'm, I was I was a victim of life or a mm -hmm. victim of circumstances right. but I think mm -hmm. that's us that's what we've been shamed into thinking again mm -hmm. it makes you not want to share we're just it's life experiences yeah. that's right. just sharing life experiences so what you feel shameful about sharing someone else needs to hear that you went through it and came out on the other side that's yeah. I don't think there's any shame in that at all the more you share the more you get it out like Michelle said you could be helping other people but feel the relief in yourself Self, right yes. the release is amazing that's I am up. So happy that I have friends. I, I'm glad you share because mm -hmm. it makes it easier to share with you. Right, right. right. It's, it's an amazing, True. it's an amazing yeah. exchange. And that's what happened. Women open up. We open up with each other mm -hmm. when yes. we're being real. You know, then mm -hmm. the next person can open up with us and yeah. feel comfortable. I'm literally with getting that. chills oh, right now. I know. Do you chills. feel like that? That there's that line where you don't want to look like you have been a uh, victimized. We understand okay. where I'm coming from. Yeah, absolutely. From? I do. I, I think it's how you tell the story and, mm -hmm. and how you share your life yes. experiences. Yes, yes, okay. yes. And I call it actually your soul story. 
story. And we have a, a bazillion life experiences, what I call your soul story moments. Mm -hmm. And when you take a look at all of the stories that you've got in your life, the journey that you've taken, you need to take a look at, um, you know, there were times that you probably thought you were a victim, but how have you learned from it so mm -hmm. that it's no longer victimizing you, you it has empowered you. Yes. So, hands down, absolutely, people can stay in that victim story, mm -hmm. but it's all up to the person to see yeah. who's listening, saying, but how do you feel about it now? How right. have you grown right. from right. it? That's how are you it. better from mm -hmm. it? Right. It. Oh, we could do a whole show yeah. on this. Yeah. So yeah. Thank, so you. Good. Thank you. That was so great. And Odette, <gasps> welcome. I feel better. Thank you. I do feel <laughs> better. Awesome. Odette, uh, where do you live? I mean, are you local? Or can yeah, you I live, come in, back and I live in Toronto, Canada, but I, I do come back and forth. Okay, okay. good. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Well, we were so happy to have you and have you weigh in on this. And always great to see you, Michelle. I know. I know. I know. Somebody who empowers me each and every day. It's a trend start.